So at the last wedding or two that I had, I was speaking at one of the guests and he was telling me how a buddy of his takes pictures and he was liking my camera a lot. He liked the Fuji X-T3, how it looked really retro, it looks like a film camera. He was asking me how long have I been doing this and I explained to him over two decades. And he says, you know, I have a buddy of mine that takes pictures and uh, he was telling me how he's having a hard time getting business. He asked him, why does he think that? And he says, oh man, it's all these new iPhones and Galaxies and they can just, it's just amazing. And he looked at me and I thought he was kidding, but he was actually serious. And I told him, I said, I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell other people. On your worst day as a pro photographer, your work should always look better than Uncle Fred or Aunt Susie with an iPhone or a Galaxy or the, whatever the pixel, it doesn't matter. You should be creating better looking, better angles, better color, better everything than what you can get on your iPhone. Those devices are amazing, man. I'm not gonna lie. The technology that's in the new iPhone, we did not have in the new digital cameras. When we went from film to digital, that $8,000 digital camera, oh my gosh did not have the technology the iPhone does right now. And we were in business, and we were making six figures a year, doing our job with way less than equipment. You follow me? Come on. Let me show you what I have been doing in the past couple of weeks, and uh, I got something to share with you. week I'm gonna make a video where I'm taking my Canon 5D Mark III with my Fuji X-T3 those are the two cameras I have in my bag and I'm gonna go somewhere I'm gonna take pictures and I'm gonna show you in the video not tell you which camera it is until the end of the video I'm just very curious if you even have any opinions do you think they're both the same can you see the quality difference I'm just curious and I got this camera because I wanted something smaller, I wanted a breath of fresh air. I was only going to get this camera for my candids on weddings. I just figured less fatigue because it's smaller and better technology, just something to get me creative again. You know that spark of, let's go do this! And this camera gave me a lot more than that. It's the truth and I've been using it on every single job in the last um, now seven weeks and I'm, I'm shocked and I've compared it to my Canon files from before and this camera looks the same if not better. Maybe I should make the video without the answers at the end and let y'all comment. Yeah, and then I'll do a follow-up video to that with the answers. I like that. That'll keep the comment section buzzing. <laughs> So I wanted to say hello on this Saturday and just remind you guys to stay focused on what you're trying to accomplish. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do in this world, but if it's something different, something unique, something fun, something daring and it's difficult, don't stop trying. And when you need more answers, find a place where to get the answers and go apply your knowledge and move forward. So look you guys. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit all the buttons you gotta hit. But most importantly, leave some questions or comments in the comment section because if you don't say anything, we don't know you're here. All right? So I appreciate every single one of you guys. Stay focused on your dreams. Happy Saturday. I'm gonna see you early next week in the next cool video, all right? Peace! Hey, for you guys uh, that are still watching, 
this video was actually created with the Fuji X-T3, but with the Fringer Pro adapter and the Canon lens, the 16 to 35. That's what's on this body right now. All right, see you later. <laughs>